What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys are like me, then you've been waiting for some of your favorite Winterboard themes to be updated for iOS 8. Now, some Winterboard themes have actually been updated for iOS 8, but they still don't have compatibility for the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus, which is a massive bummer because a lot of people have already upgraded to the iPhone 6 and to the iPhone 6 Plus. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video is how to upgrade any Winterboard theme to iOS 8 compatibility, as well as making it work on any device, including the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Now this is also going to work for iPad, so if you wanna upgrade an, uh, an iPad Winterboard theme to the iOS 8 compatible Winterboard theme for iPad, then that's gonna work with this as well. So this process does require a little bit of setup. It's really not that hard. It literally will take you less than 10 minutes less than five minutes probably if you're already doing this and you know what you're doing. But now that I'm explaining everything, it's gonna take a little bit longer. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is download two separate tweaks onto your device. So just go into Cydia and you're gonna download Icon Bundles as well as Apple File Conduit 2. So once you've downloaded Icon Bundles and Apple File Conduit 2 and those are both installed, then you'll go ahead and respring your device. So then what you want to do, you're going to download three separate things onto your computer. First being iFunBox. And the next one is going to be JDK, which is basically going to allow you to open the next program, which is called Shattered Husky. So once you've downloaded all three of these, and I'll put links in the description below, it'll be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the description just in case you guys get lost or anything like that. Just download these by clicking on the link and installing them. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at my device. So here I have a theme called Soft installed on my iPhone 6 Plus, and you'll notice that hardly any of my icons are actually themed. So you can see that the Instagram, the health app, as well as Netflix are all themed, but if we scroll through here, you're really not gonna see very many themed icons, and that's because it was updated for iOS 8, but it's not compatible with the iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm gonna make that theme compatible with the iPhone 6 Plus. Now make sure before you start this process that you actually download the theme that you wanna update in Cydia and have it in Winterboard, or you're not gonna find the theme in iFunBox. All right, so what you wanna do is go ahead and go into iFunBox, just double click on it to open it up. Make sure your device is plugged in, as you can see right here, and then you should see exactly what I see over here on the left-hand side. So then what you're gonna do is click on raw file system, and then you're gonna click on library to open that up, and then you're gonna click on themes. So this is where all your Winterboard themes are installed. So you can see right here that we have our soft theme. So this is part of the soft theme, and you can see this one is, and all five of these are. So what we're gonna do is we're going to copy all of these. So what we wanna do is just right click and then we're gonna to copy to Mac. And this is going to give us the ability to put it wherever we want. I'm gonna put it on the desktop because that's very simple to see and we'll know exactly where it is. So we're just gonna click open after we've selected the desktop and it should go ahead and transfer everything right over here as you can see. And these three programs just kind of realign themselves. So don't pay any attention to that. But you'll see five folders over here. All right, so now we have the soft theme on our desktop. So what we're gonna do now is convert all of these into an iPhone 6 Plus compatible Winterboard theme. So to do that, we're gonna minimize iFunBox, and then we're gonna open up shatteredhusky.jar. So once we open that up, it should open up a little window right here. So now what we wanna do is select a theme. So we're gonna click on select a theme. I'm gonna bring this down right here. And then we're gonna to go to our desktop because that's where we saved all five of our folders. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our desktop and then you can see all of our folders right here. Now, unfortunately, you can't select multiple folders. You have to do each folder independently. And just to be safe, go ahead and do all the folders. That way we make sure that everything is compatible. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and click on soft alternate icons and then we're gonna click choose. And then we're gonna click on select destination. So here I'm just gonna make a new folder on my desktop. So to do that, we're just going to right click on our desktop and click new folder. So now I'm gonna name this as new soft theme, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up our desktop and then you can see new soft theme right here. So we're gonna click choose and then we're gonna click on options. And then right here you can see exactly what we wanna convert it to. Do we wanna convert it to a non-retina iPad, a retina iPad, 
iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, or the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So we're gonna do the iPhone 6 Plus, and then we're gonna click on mask themed icon. So if you don't do this, then it's not going to mask the icons and you're gonna get a bunch of square, massive square icons, which you probably don't want. You can also click on do not scale up images if you wanna do that, which will basically preserve the quality, as you can see the little pop-up right there, instead border with empty pixels to preserve the quality. So you can click on that if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it off right now. So we're gonna click save and close, and then all we wanna do is click convert. So that's as simple as that. It's already done. You can see if I go ahead and open this up that we already have one of the folders in there. So now we're gonna close out of this, and then we're going to select the next theme. So we're just gonna click on desktop, and then click on the second folder, click choose. We don't have to change anything else. Go ahead and click convert, and it's already done. So now we're gonna do the third one, go to desktop, then the home screen theme. This is gonna take the longest, which doesn't take very long at all. As you can see right there, it's already done. And then we're gonna go back to desktop, and then we're gonna do the modern dock. So click choose, click convert, and it's done. Next is the last one. So this is the soft user interface. Click choose, click convert. All right, so now it's done. You can see right here that if we open up new soft theme folder, we have all five folders which complete the entire theme. So now what we want to do is open up iFunbox with this folder open right here. So if we go ahead and open that back up, now what we want to do is just copy all five of these into our theme folder. So we're already in here, as you can see. If you don't remember how to get here, I'll go ahead and go back all the way just to show you guys, just to make sure. We're gonna click on raw file system, go into library, go into themes, and it's right here. So now what we wanna do is copy all of these. And then just drag them over and drop them in. It's as simple as that. Now it's already installed on our device. You can see right here, if we go over to Winterboard and open that up, and we tap on select themes, you can see all the soft user interface iOS 8 theme right there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to untick all of those and we're gonna tick all these back on. I'm gonna go ahead and put these soft alternate icons right up there at the top. So now we're gonna go back, we're gonna respring our device, and then once we respring, we're gonna have the complete iOS 8 theme on our device. So we're resprung and you can see if I unlock my device, look at all those beautiful soft icons. If you guys watch my videos on iOS 7 jailbreak and you've been with me for a while, you guys know that I really enjoy the soft theme. And that is all you have to do. Once you go through this process one time, it's extremely simple to update any and all of your Winterboard themes up to iOS 8. So let me know what you guys think about this process as well as if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll be hanging around for a little while to answer those for you guys. Just because I know how frustrating it can be to not be able to use a Winterboard theme that you want after you've had a jailbreak for quite some time. Again, if you have questions, be sure to let me know. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.